Hello, hello, hello. Um, I just wanted to share with you. Sorry, just on my fingers. Uh, <clears throat> some things I got from B and M the other day. Um, the craft range is getting really good. They do some lovely papers in there now. Resisting them, resisting quite the papers. But I couldn't resist this lovely printed tissue paper. For one forty nine. I've got loads of different designs, but this one was my favourite. So I've got that. Um, let's see if I can get it out. But I just want to see how thick it is, really. Look. Oh yeah. It's nice quality. That's going to be really nice for backgrounds. Um, I've got these stamps. They keep falling out of this pot. Alphabet stamps. They're quite a nice size. I needed some nice size alphabets. That weren't scripty squirrely. They're quite nice and chunky. I can have a lot of fun with those in my art journal. These neon paints we are going to play with in a minute. Um, they weren't two ninety nine. I'm sure they were one ninety nine. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a little play with those in a second. And this, I was looking at these when we had them new. They're like little notebooks, but they've got like the mandalas and then writing, and they're all different types of pages. I have pulled out quite a lot. They are. They say they are. A lot of the papers because I'm going to get crafty in here and it's going to get big. So I've taken out like two pages from every signature and that in itself will probably make me another journal. So that's awesome. And I got that for 10p because it's end of line sort of thing. They found it in the warehouse. I didn't stop taking it. <coughs> so now we're going to play with the neons and what I've done is I've made a little test page that's white gesso, black gesso, clear gesso and we're going to put some on the jelly plates so I can use up any that's left on the next card so I didn't get my brush oh I need some water as well here that I use for plants and for art purposes. <laughs> there we go, and some water. Uh, I've got baby wipes on hand. Okay, oh wow. So I'm going to put some out. onto the raw paper to see how it reacts on there and my gessos and make a mess going into the next page um, well it's bright this is quite uh, translucent which is apparently the norm for neon paint so that's not a worry Clean the brush up. Brush needs to go clean, I think it's a bit stiff. Just brush that off onto there. And then we'll just pop that to the side for a second. And grab the roller. Oh, sticky, sticky. Oh, jelly beans go. Very sticky. Oh, oh dear. Dry. Oh, 
pretty. It's very warm again, but there is a lovely breeze today. It's going to rain. Oh, look at that. Isn't that great? Um, I think actually I should have got some more index cards out, shouldn't I? I might have to go to some more in a second. Cool is that? Right, next colour, orange. Well, it's very bright, but it is very, very translucent, as I say. Or well, you can kind of hold it off a bit, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's very nice, I like it. Okay. Shaking the camera. <clears throat> okay, it's not spreading out very well, but I can live with it. Let's just push that on there. We may get some ghost paste from the red, hopefully. A little bit. I think it's drying too fast because it's warm. But that's okay. I'll keep playing with it and keep adding layers and we'll get something nice. These paints are also available <coughs> in metallic. bright yellow. Wow, it's really windy. It's good, we need it. My office was 37 degrees yesterday. Hoping, 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 hoping that it will cool down today because of this beautiful breeze. I'm absolutely chucking it down this morning. I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, we've had a few thunderstorms in the past few days as well. Something like that. That might be interesting. Let's pop that 
Apfel. back onto this one and like that this is a bit of a two for one video <laughs> hauling testing and jelly printing it's subtle I like it um, I try to do this every time I buy a new set of paints or pens or anything like that. Um, credit goes to Claudia Rossi and JKIS. Um, she has a little course on how to. Well, it's her, Peter Thompson, and Gina Aarons. They do a little tips on how to make a mixed media reference book and you can buy that course at Crazy as the Highland Studios. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find a link for that but I'll try. So you can go and check that out if you so wish. get some ghost printing. Now the orange and green have not mixed in it mud, which is interesting and that is nice. We have to have a play with mixing some of the colours up together, see what we get. Interesting, interesting. And now blue. Neon blue, I've always. Oh, oh, I've lost my lid now. I'll find that later. Yeah, I've been intrigued by neon blue. These are sort of your traditional highlighter colours, and then you get blue and purple, and they. I don't know, I never really thought of them as neon. But hey ho. They are apparently. Okay. Brush is a little bit wet actually, so. Mm. We are getting a bit of water in there. Yeah, well, that's blue. <laughs> it's blue. Necessarily call it neon, but maybe I'm wrong. But it's certainly blue. Mm, a lot of blue paint on me. But we shall roll it out. And grab this one. Mm. 
Now let's layer there. Yep. Layering up. Now then, careful. The reason I advise testing your mediums and paints and pens and things, uh, particularly this, I bought some Stabilo pens the other week, and you think, looking at the lid, that they're one colour, and then you use them and they're darker or lighter than the lid. They were a bit strange, but. Yeah, but because I've tested them, I know that. And now I know how transparent these paints are because I can see the black through them. I know that they're not going to be great on black gesso, actually. That's a good point because they're just disappearing. Um, but they'll be fine on white gesso. They'll be quite bright and nice. Um, yeah, so it's good to test because sometimes things don't work where you think they're going to. So it's always good to test. It's a nice rich purple. Again, I wouldn't necessarily call it neon, but it's a nice purple anyway, so I'll use that. Uh, let's grab this one, this one, the backs of some of these cards are going to be really nice. <laughs> as it's there, it's waiting to be used. Oops. Whew. Listen to that wind. Whew. Wow. There we go. Lovely. impressed with the brightness of those. They are certainly neon. These ones anyway. And these aren't bad colours so they'll get used. My door is banging. It's driving me nuts. Um, so all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.